hello guys let's get ready so i'm in a little bit of a rush but it's kind of at the point it's like where you're gonna be late you might as well just continue to be late so i already braided my hair it's dry we're just gonna work on the makeup and yeah so today we're gonna go to this place called peddler's village i've never been there and i guess from like my understanding it's just kind of like a christmas type of vibe and i guess they have like lights i honestly haven't had time to really research it at all my boyfriend was the one that wants to go and was recommending it, so that is what we're going to be doing. It's actually pretty warm here today in Pennsylvania. I was driving home and it was like 63. I got this new dress. It's on my bed somewhere, maybe on the other side, right there. It's this purple dress, which purple obviously isn't very festive for <laughs> the upcoming holidays, but I think it would be kind of a cute little fit. I haven't tried it on yet, so I'm pretty much like praying that I like it but it's this off the shoulder dress it's like a fuzzy dress that i got from target and i think it would be cute with little knee-high boots so hopefully it works i'm praying because i am running late and i just don't care to try to find something else to wear but i am happy that it's a little warmer out just so that like we're not freezing because obviously i'm pretty sure everything's outside i have to eat some lunch though because i never like to not eat before i go somewhere i need a meal like every three hours I'm gonna have a turkey bacon sandwich. I had the bacon cooking in the air fryer and I'm gonna eat it once I'm done with my makeup. So I'm gonna do something that's a little questionable. I know I've done it in the past. I need a darker pencil. But as you can see with the parting, it's not the best and I also don't like how there's less hair right here. So my little tip and trick is to just fill it in with like a brow pencil. And I also feel like it kind of can help like straighten out the line. And also you can use this too if you want to like make your hairline look more full. That's also why I like to do it too. Obviously the point of it is to have like a parting. So it's not like I want to fill it in because then it would just look strange. Like where's my scalp? I am going to do eyeliner on my top lid. I kind of laid off doing this for the past couple years. But I started doing it over the past couple days because <laughs> the other day my eye was like really itchy right here. And I didn't know if it was my actual eyeball, if there was like something irritating my eyelashes or whatever. And I had mascara on, so obviously all of my lashes are like clumped together. So I just like tugged on it just to like get rid of that itch. I'm missing like a good <laughs> majority of my lashes now. I like putting the eyeliner on to kind of cover up that, but I mean, if you stare long enough, then yeah, it's pretty noticeable. But oh well, they'll grow back hopefully. The only thing that kind of sucks about this is they even like put a warning on their website about parking you know kind of arrive early for parking or good luck basically trying to find parking so that's kind of like the main problem of why i, like, I feel bad running late i mean obviously there has to be parking somewhere because you know people go to this but it seems like there's like a lot of places to eat there so i think this is going to be the makeup um i'm going to come back and fix my little hairs once i'm dressed but I'm going to go eat quick and then we'll try on the outfit and pray that it looks nice. Otherwise, we're going to have to find something else. And this is going to sound crazy, but I might be like a little bit too warm in this. So this is what it looks like. Okay, so if I decide that I want to wear this, I'm going to do boob tape, obviously, to like support everything going on here. Honestly, it doesn't look too bad. I think it looks kind of cute. I want to like bunch it up in the stomach a little bit because I'm like low-key bloated right now <laughs> from just eating. But let's try it on with the shoes and then we'll decide... All right, I have to wipe my shoes off because they're a little dusty since I haven't worn them since last winter. But I think maybe these. Yeah, no, okay. So this is the dress, the boots. I think like the jewelry kind of pulled the outfit together. I kind of like it more. I got the boob tape on. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm going to use this purse. I put reindeer thing. This is like a hand sanitizer. So I'm just going to hopefully remember to take off the hand sanitizer on my other one in my car. But I think this is going to be the look. Hopefully I get some cute Instagram pics. And yeah, so let's head out. I think I did pretty good with time. It's not even four yet. We made it. Parking was a little questionable. We're going to have dinner here. So they had some good food. So we're going to sit at the bar because it's a 45 minute wait for a table. And I think I'm going to get a burger. Okay, we're starting off with some nacho fries. I'll let him be the guinea pig. 
give it a whirl. Uh, we both got the same burger, he got different fries. Getting this for my mom. I thought it was cute. They got a lot of little cute pens in here. Got ornaments. Uh, a lot of stuff in here. Got some speakers. You got the baby. Okay, I got some more stuff here. I'm gonna go snuggle bunny. Okay, never mind. That place was like a children's store, like children's clothing. <laughs> that was a fail. Cute. I saw this place when we drove by, so we're getting a present. Okay, so I'm back home after going to Peddler's Village, and I figured I would just give a little update and end this video since I kind of forgot to film an outro. But it was really nice. It was obviously very busy there, and that's why, like, it was honestly hard to film just because. I don't like obviously filming strangers, so I tried to get content where I could and then there were some stores that actually had signs that were like, thank you for not taking any pictures on whatever the item was. So I was kind of trying to like sneak and film things, but I tried to film as much content as I could and I obviously would have liked to film more, but there is a lot of shopping and stuff to do there. We didn't watch the actual lighting because we were both so hungry and so we ate at Buttonwood restaurant which originally it was gonna be a 45 minute wait so my recommendation just because obviously there's so many people and it's so busy is to like make a reservation or go to the restaurant before like you're actually really hungry and so yeah that's why I didn't film the actual grand illumination that was happening at 6 15 because we were eating at the restaurant so yeah we just walked around and we went into a couple of the shops I bought a couple things he got a watch actually. Then we got matching little ornaments to put on his Christmas tree. And yeah, we didn't like really buy too much stuff. I mean, like I said, there are a lot of stores, but overall it was nice. And I think it's a cute little date night or if you have, you know, a family, it's fun for the kids because there's also toy stores and stuff like that. So I think there's stuff for like everyone in your family. Um, yeah, it was a nice time and I had fun with my man. Hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me and vlog. And I will see you tomorrow for the next day of Vlogmas. Bye!